I'm Carolyn Hopkins. And I'm Carrie Bauman. And for our film raid, we looked at a couple episodes of the series Dollhouse by Joss Whedon. Uh, it's a sci-fi show that sort of explores the problem of identity. Uh, the description of the show, the, it follows an organization that employs mind-webbed humans known as dolls who are implanted with false memories and skills for various missions and tasks. When they're not at work, they are living in a real-life dollhouse. One of these mind-wiped humans, a young woman named Echo, is slowly starting to become aware of herself and what's going on. So we're going to ask some questions that we had while watching the show and relating them to the different ideas that we've talked about in philosophy. So originally this character, Echo, was actually a girl named Caroline Farrell. However, due to various circumstances she got herself into in an, in a, in an attempt to take down this group Rossum, which led the dollhouse, she in turn ended up accepting to become a doll herself. Becoming a doll entails them putting them in this certain chair and like it removes their memories. These are people, uh, bodies who were once people, or specific people, they had personalities, and then all of their personality has been drained, they're back to a blank slate of their original childlike stake. And then so to go out whenever they go out on a mission, then their like, techie, the guy, a guy named Topher, would use different parts of people's personalities for the most part to put them together and like upload them into the doll's memory, and then when the mission's done, take them out and they don't remember anything. In our readings, we're talking about what makes a person a person. Um, we had the quote from Locke, who said, a person is a thinking, intelligent being, that he has reason and reflection, and can consider itself as itself, the same thinking thing in different times and places. So I think by this definition, the dolls are legitimate people. Um, they are aware of themselves. Echo knows her name is Echo. Uh, they are reasonably intelligent enough to follow the orders that people give them. Um, when we start off the show, Car um, not Caroline, Echo is essentially like a child, you know, can't really comprehend things. And yet also, the people with the company that owns the dollhouse can remove any memories from her. So even things that she experiences as Echo. So essentially they can keep her in this childlike state, but eventually she kind of becomes immune to the whole memory eraser process and begins to grow as a person and be able to um, comprehend and question things. They are people, they think for themselves, they're aware of themselves. Well, to use our vocabulary, I would say they are numerically the same, but not qualitatively the same. Essentially, they're, they're two different people that are sharing a body, kind of. Like, they have their own different personalities that are kind of interlaced with each other. So are there enough of Caroline's essential qualities that are preserved in Echo? According to the memory theory, where you have you are your own person based on your memories, Caroline and Echo definitely are not the same person. Um, however, if you go with the, the body view or the brute physical view, um, they do obviously have the same body, so then of course they're the same person. They didn't take out Caroline's brain, they just took out the memories from it. Um, so in that way it passes the brain theory as well, that says we're the same person if we have the same brain. Is it true, like, is it possible to completely erase that from someone's memory without causing, like, brain damage? Or is it just, like, a suppressed thing in their head? Like, are they... Is part of the original body still in the doll? Which I think they kind of have to be, almost. To, because I would, at some point, there is a doll who, like, finishes her, like, service as a doll and gets her, like, Mem like her mind back and she goes back but she also kind of remembers her time in the dollhouse so it's this weird like 
they kind of end up becoming two people in the same same body. So once a person gets their memory erased and they become a doll, is it possible to totally remove the memory from that person, or does part of who that person inherently was still linger in the doll somewhere? Uh, I think if we say yes, as seems to be the case uh, with Echo, she sometimes remembers being Caroline, she has memories of being Caroline, she's supposed to be a completely different person, she doesn't always show signs of being a completely different person, like she inherently knows who she is. I think this might be an example of, or an argument somebody might make for the existence of Caroline's soul or her ego, uh, as one of the other authors put it. Two of the other dolls like start developing feelings for each other, so it's it's weird. Like as much as you want to erase the memory, there's still like those innate human responses that your body can do. They both are people, and one is not less than the other. But we can raise the question: Do they both deserve the body? And if they both deserve it, then who gets it in the end? This was originally Caroline's body, and it kind of got taken away from her. But then, as soon as Echo existed, she got, I think she also got the right to be in the body. Obviously, it was Caroline's body originally, and now Echo inhabits, inhabits it, and Caroline's memories are saved kind of on a disc elsewhere to be uploaded eventually. The fact that they just took out Caroline and didn't put in anything separate to make it Echo as opposed to Caroline tells me that this is a basic form of Caroline, uh, an earlier form of her, a maybe simpler version of her without all of her memories and personalities that got added as she grew. I think that they both have claim to the body, but they are also both still the same person. When the dolls get other personalities programmed onto their blank personalities, are they then a different person? The dolls with the program personality on top of them have a separate set of memories from the doll. Uh, so they think of themselves as separate people, they don't know that they're a doll. These, like, these instances are more the dolls playing a part, like they're an actor. They just don't remember that they're doing them. As soon as the memory gets removed from the doll's body, that person that was there ceases to exist. And I think for that reason, they're not so much a separate person as much as a uh, special augmentation that's put on the doll's mind for the sake of the mission they're sent, set out to do. In one of the episodes we watched, this character Bennett attacked Echo because of something Caroline did to her. And personally, I don't think that's justified. Just because Echo happens to have Caroline's body, it doesn't mean that Echo should be held accountable. I'm inclined to think that she's not responsible for them. I think it would be the same as somebody who does something while they're sleepwalking or something where they're not actually in control of their mind um, some, or their actions. Somebody, else, somebody else's personality uh, has been placed on top of their own, is overriding their own, um, sort of similar to the essay that we read about the, the brain um, having the jewel in it and the jewel couldn't have control of the body and somebody else was in control. Um, I think it would be sort of like that, except she's not conscious of doing the things uh, that she doesn't want to do. There, there are instances where she's playing this character who has sex with the person who paid her to, which is okay, <laughs> right. And when, to when Topher erases that memory, he says that she is a virgin again or something like that, but like it did happen to the body, like you can't just make someone a virgin again by saying they are. Um, Olson had the quote from our reading, he said, only I can be responsible for my actions, and the fact that some person is me by itself gives me a reason to care about them. There's a part where they were talking about putting Caroline back in, like, this body, but she herself is, like, Echo is afraid of Caroline, 
if like if Caroline were to come back, where would she go? Like, would she still exist, or would she, in a sense, like fall back to sleep? We talked a little bit in one of the books about the psychological continuity view, that you are the same person over time if the things that happen to you and the memories that you have fit together over time uh, due to causal effects. Something happened to her, a specific cause, namely her memories getting taken out. That could be considered mental manipulation and not a changing of her personality. Almost like Echo is Caroline with Alzheimer's and then mm -hmm. as soon as Caroline gets back, get put back in, she's like, I did all these things. Well, I, how, like, well, I couldn't remember who I was, but now I remember who I am, so. Yeah, yeah. So if Caroline were restored to her body, I don't think that Echo would cease to be. It seems like if there's a way to bring Caroline's mind and experiences back while still maintaining a memory of all that happened to her when she was Echo, that would be the most moral way to go, um, at least to me. So thank you for watching. Uh, we hope we asked some interesting questions, gave you some answers. Maybe if you watch the show, you can come up with your own. Mm -hmm. Yes, we heartily recommend the show. It is very fun and exciting and also philosophical. It's all confusing, <laughs> just like philosophy.